The split thread technique is a valuable addition to any tires toolkit. For my own tying, I consider it invaluable. The concept is quite straightforward. The thread is split, material is inserted, the thread is twisted tight again, and then wrapped. For this initial component in the video, I'm using some heavy thread to make the process as visible as possible. I flatten the thread, I insert the needle, and then the thread now consists of two halves. The material I will be inserting is typically considered difficult. It seals fur. Insert between the two strands and then allowed to close up again. It's now twisted and most threads the twisting tight will be in a clockwise direction. I like to hold the section just below the inserted material and spin the bobbin holder while holding tight. This allows for a more controlled travel up of the additional twists. We now have a rope which can be wrapped and if need be stroked back. The material is held very secure in this twisted thread. I have moved to my staple tying thread, Banecki 12 volt. Most threads are suitable. A notable exception is uni thread, which is a bonded thread where resin binds the individual filaments together. While it can be used for split thread, it's really hardly worth the effort. Like before, simply flatten the thread split it and insert some dubbing material. In this case I'm using some squirrel. Spin it clockwise. As mentioned before, most threads can be spun or twisted in a clockwise direction. Pearsall's gossamer is in this case the exception. There it's spun counter to tighten it up. Just like this a spiky body can be formed or a smooth one with different dubbing material. Many other uses for the split thread technique can be found in the videos I've posted to my channel on YouTube.